moving on to subtraction of integers, the rule is to rewrite by adding the opposite, then follow the rules for addition. And, well, anyway, in addition and subtraction naman, para lang talaga din silang magka-partner, ano? Okay, so for example, number 1, sabi dyan, di ba, rewrite by adding the opposite, then follow the rules for addition, pero meron tayong mga, or subtracting integers na hindi na kailangan i-rewrite, ano, kasi magtatagal-tagal lang, no? So, may shortcut ako na tinatawag with regards with this. Like, for example, we have number 1, 2 minus 10, automatically the answer is negative 8, tama? Magkaiba yung sign nila, para lang din tong addition, okay? Sa rule ng addition, rather. Um, kapag ni-rewrite natin siya, and then ni add natin siya with its opposite, ganito yung mangyayari. 2, Yung negative or yung minus magiging positive. Then, si 10 magiging negative. And, apply the rule for addition. Since, positive dot, negative to, then we're going to subtract. The answer will be um, negative 8. Kasi, yung pinakamataas na number is negative 10. Eh, kung ang ginawa na lang natin is 2 minus 10, positive, and then negative siya, then we're just going to subtract. The answer is negative 8. Hindi na natin gagawin yung pinaka-rule na talaga. So, we have negative 12 minus 5 since parehas sila ng sign. So, the answer will be negative 17. Bakit negative 17? Kasi po, magkatulad po sila ng sign. Para lang din tong rule ng, ng addition na ia-add natin si 12 kay 5. The answer is 17. And copy the sign of the higher number. We have negative 17. So, 18 minus 2, automatically 16 yan. Okay, so take a look at example number 4. We have negative 5 minus negative 3. So, in this case, um, meron akong dalawang steps. It's either susundin natin yung rule or yung shortcut na ginagamit ko. So, sundin muna natin yung rule. So, we have to copy or rewrite negative 5. Then, si minus sign magiging positive siya. And of course, si negative 3 magiging positive 3, right? And follow the rule of addition. So, since negative and positive na si 3, meaning to say, we are going to subtract 5 to 3 kasi magkaiba na sila ng sign. That's why the answer will be negative 2. Why is it negative 2? Kasi po, copy the sign of the higher number since 5 is the higher number. Okay? So, minsan ganito yung ginagawa ko. Um... We have negative 5 minus negative 3. Ang ginagawa ko is minumultiply ko si negative kay negative. Or negative times negative. So, it is positive 3. And then, ginagawa ko na yung, yung rule of addition. We have negative 7 minus negative 14. Negative 7. Negative times negative is positive 14. Then, follow the addition rule. Unlike sign, you are going to subtract. Subtract 14 to 7, we have 7. And since um, the higher number is positive 14, so the answer will be positive 7. Okay, 9 minus negative 7, we have to copy 9. Then negative times negative is equal to positive 7. Then the answer will be positive 16. Okay, so, kung gagawin din naman natin yung rule, ganun din naman yung magiging situation. Have, copy the 9, or the first term. Then, gagawin natin plus, si minus. And then, gagawin natin positive, si 7. So, ganun lamang din yung um, solution niya. Okay, so, 2 minus negative 7. So, negative times negative, positive 7, is equal to 9. Or, gawin natin yung pinaka-rule. We have 2 plus 7. Then, the answer will be 9 also. So, ganun lang kasimple. 